Hello friends, welcome once again. Today I am going to discuss about important highlights of March April volume of Indian Horticulture magazine 2020. So the first coming question is Jammu Mango. It's a new mango variety which is recently released from Seri Kashmir University of Agriculture Sciences and Technology from Jammu. So the important question from this is Jammu Mango which is drought tolerant or you can say that drought hardy and it start flowering in third week of february so this is one important question from this so friends not only this from the mango actually uh, there are so many questions which is generally used to ask so the important book for mango if you want to know about in detail so you have to read the mango by leeds after this uh, indian horticulture magazine session i'll be coming to cover all those fruit crops from tk boss book as well as all those international books whatever i have in soft copies i'll upload everything point wise uh, from each crop so say for example like in mango there is so many things suppose flowering model is there in mango which is carbohydrate regulator flowering model which is given by chakao and hormone regulated flowering model there is two hormone related flowering model in mango one is trifactor hypothesis of flowering model which is given by kulkarni another one is comprehensive conceptual flowering model which is given by davenport so these are the uh, flowering models which are related to mango and so many questions are there like in mangifera patent uh, why it is commercially used growing in peninsular in malaysia and sabas region because uh, because it have hyper proportion of hermaphrodite and male flowers that's why they used to grow it abundantly in that region especially similarly in this mango i am telling about this mango like in 2019 one question asked like which of the following mango species used to flower only once in five to ten years so the species is mangifera lagnifera so you will get these questions from in in only in a leads book which is by which is a, a international book of cabby cabby publication so i'll be cover all those international book uh tk boss book for your uh, and i'll provide all those notes also so if you guys want to support me for this work you can just click the join button on my youtube channel to support me and i'll cover everything uh, whatever is possible now coming to the next so another is new variety of makhana that is Sabor makhana one this variety is released under bihar agricultural university Sabor. so what is the important characteristic of this variety as exam point of view so it is high yielding and makhana pop recovery is 55 to 60 percent especially for this variety and this variety has moderate field resistant to leaf blight disease and as resistant to some insect pests also especially aphid now talk about the some point related to makhana makhana is the only extant species in the genus ural and it is a flowering plant classified like commonly uh, nymphaceae family but occasionally regarded as a distinct family that is everyone known as uh, ural ac so Bihar accounts nearly 85 to 90 percent makhana in the country and its flower is clistogamous inferior multicalpary ovule and fruit is berry now coming to the next high throughput phenotyping approaches new era of fruit improvement so friends this is my article this is my own article which is published in Indian Horticulture Magazine, March, April 2020. So friends, actually now these days phenotyping is going on in especially in field crops, short duration field crops, but uh, in India as well as in other countries, uh, phenotyping is going on in different fruit crops. I'll discuss these points in another video in detail. What about the phenotyping? What is important in fruit crops? and everything i'll cover in my upcoming video about phenotyping only which is now these days very important in compared to genotyping phenotyping is more important so coming to the next that is release of new viringal variety that is bidhan supreme and bidhan super which is released from bckv west bengal so now coming to the importance of these varieties so bidhan supreme is moderately field resistant against bacterial wilt and little leaf disease and the fruit is long 
लॉन्ग फ्रूटेड वैरायटी इन द केस ऑफ विधान सुपर विधान सुपर राउंड फ्रूटेड विधान सुप्रीम इज लॉन्ग फ्रूटेड एंड विधान सुपर इज राउंड फ्रूटेड टॉलरेंट अगेन बैक्टीरियल विल्ट एंड फील्ड रेसिस्टेंस अगेन लिटिल लीव नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट दैट इज न्यू वेराइटी ऑफ पोम ग्रेनेट दैट इज कजरी विशाल दिस इज ए न्यू वेराइटी ऑफ पोम ग्रेनेट एंड रिलीज फ्रॉम सेंट्रल एरिड जोन रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट जोधपुर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ दिस वेराइटी इज इट इज अ क्रॉस बिटवीन गनेस एंड खॉक एंड इट्स अर्ली मेच्योरिटी एंड दिस वेराइटी हैविंग फ्रूट साइज इज लाइक थ्री फिफ्टी ग्राम this is not important question like fruit size generally aerial recovery is 60% and juice content is 40 to 45% so actually question pattern is changed from this year now that's why you have to cover everything like recovery also means management part also improvement part also everything you have to cover no one knows like from which part they have to ask these questions so kindly cover all those part which is important so now next is the tss is like 17.5 to 18.6 degree bricks with low acid juice low acidic juice like 0.48 to 0.52 percent and fruit yield is 20 to 25 kg per plant so friends these are the only important points from march april value as exam point of view you just revise the things little bit you just give five minute for my videos to update all those recent things which is going on in different institute of india and if you want or you like my work so you can support me by clicking join button and i'll be coming with something new in the field of horticulture keep in touch and support me thank you